most of the visit days are home office refused unreasonably unlawfully and without any reasonable grounds even some people some applicant have visited uk a couple of times or five times and they return back to their home country before their visa expire without breaching an immigration law but still when they applied for visit visa home office refused it so today i'm going to ex- explain and share my experience how successfully you can challenge the home office uh, the refusal of visit visa and you can uh, you can br- you can come to the uk or if you want to sponsor your parents or any family member how you can uh, challenge the home office and uh, make a successful uh, outcome uh, i'll share before that i share my experience recently i have applied for one of my family member uh, for visit visa and home office refused and then what i did i challenged it before that i issued uh, first, first i issued a patient protocol letter and my first patient protocol letter after the refusal the home office uh, uh, wrote me a letter that they will reconsider the decision and i shouldn't go through the judicial review until the reconsideration so i accepted their offer and they reconsidered the decision unfortunately they refused again so second time in the reconsideration again they refused the home, the, the visa visa application and then what i did i applied to the uh, upper tribunal high court for judicial review to challenge the home office refusal after my after submission of my uh, application for permission to judicial review the the uh, government legal department sent me an email that they will reconsider again if i agreed to uh, uh would do the judicial review from the court i said well when generally when the gld decided to withdraw the judicial review that more likely you have a chance to uh, a, a good outcome so i accepted that offer and this is the third time uh, i gave an opportunity to the home secretary to make a decision after then i signed the consent order the home was submitted to the upper tribunal and then the uh, the court um, uh, in a put the consent order within 3 month of the decision of the court to seal order the home office supposed to give me a decision very close end of the three month i contacted the uh, government legal department and the home office uh, as well uh, that is very close to th- three month and more likely the uh, the home secretary will be breach of uh, consent order so can you please urgently give us a decision and the court order the seal court order was 13 uh, uh, october more like 13 october so from 13 october uh, within 3 month they need to give me a decision surprisingly i received an email from the home office it's the, this month this month um, i'll share you the email on the screen so this is the email where the home office is saying that dear sir uh, further to your email dated 9th february 2024 alleging that your client had not yet received the reconsideration of their application the decision making team had been contacted and confirmed a reconsideration was made 10th october okay 2023 and this was sent to previous um, uh, solicitor now the thing is what i want to say in this uh, respect this is not actually to be the case because the sealed order was 13 uh, uh, october so how can the home office make a decision on 10th october and more surprisingly the home office gave me a, a decision uh, that the uh, refu- the the home office refused the uh, uh, application again third time actually not but anyway they they sent me an email and they sent me also 
a refusal letter in the email. So look at this email. Your application for visit visa to the United Kingdom has been refused. So I was very, and this this email come, I think it's uh, more likely uh, 14 or 16th of this month. I was very disappointed because this is my family number. I'll not let it go uh, uh, without see the end. So I have contacted again, explained the situation that this is completely a, 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 a decision on an email which is no connection with the consent order because consent order was made 13th October. How you can give me a consent decision uh, on 10th October where the consent has stated you will you will make a decision within three months of from the date of the consent order. So if you make a decision before that, that is not applicable in the consent order. So I contacted with them again within the same day. And then the Home Office come back with the Home Office legal department come back with another email. And I want to show you the email uh, saying the purpose of the of this email I want to show is okay. So this is the email. Yes. So this is the email where the where the home office is. Um, they are saying now. Uh, good afternoon. So this is the date you see on that of sixteen February twenty twenty four. This is the last week. Good afternoon. Thank you for your email and for highlighting this. A case is currently with the decision maker and decision will be received as soon as possible. So within a week, you see how the Home Office Department has changed. There is no uh, uh, you know, a combination of the Home Office Department. The same week, two days before, the Home Office gave us the decision of refusal uh, and Next two days, that in the first email you have seen, they said they have already made a decision, and they already gave me a refusal letter. Okay, and tenth October, and the two days later, they are sending me another email. The home is legal grant. They're saying, uh, "Well, we are still making a decision. We'll reconsider your decision. We will give you a decision very shortly." Same day, after a couple of, uh, uh, I think around one or two hours later. They send me another email. So let me show you that email. And that, that email. Okay, so this is the email. Let me make sure I. Okay, so that email. That email, what they're saying now. Now, in this email, the home office is uh, stating that. Okay, that is clear. That, dear. Okay, so after reconsider reconsidering your, your initial refusal decision, I can confirm we have now issued six month visit visa. And we apologize for any convenience this this may have caused. You should hear from the visa application center in due course to, in regard to collecting your visa. However, I recommend that you please provide with them your passport at your earliest convenience. And once your visit, once your visa arrives, they will fix this to your passport for you. So within two days within two days one department home office one email said they refused and they gave us a decision the other department because home office had a couple of liverpool uh, visa application uh, uh, decision making post appeal of judicial the, the, the one of the uh, uh, department by the next decision gld uh, uh, so a couple of you know uh, home office have offices so I received email from the Home Office General that they have already refused the visa after reconsideration. And then the Home Office Legal Department sent me an email. Well, 
the same after two days that well we are still considering a decision and you receive an email shortly and then Liverpool uh, uh, from the Home Office will have received email that your visa has been granted. So this is what the uh, uh, and the lack of combination among the Home Office Department uh, and Home Office offices because you know the Home Office have office in, in in London in Liverpool and Sheffield uh, so uh, the, the, you know the, they don't know what's going on file who is file and just you know uh, the, surprisingly uh, that was the the current uh, current situation is but the purpose of the video not to uh, uh, show that lack of combination among the development but I want to explain it that if your visit visa is refused you need to uh, you need to if if you find this is unreasonable you need to properly challenge the home office but i i know a lot of parents want to come to see uh, their family member their children their grandchildren how they're living in the uk and when they apply uh, the home office refuses unreasonably and lawfully so what do you want to do if the home office refuses your visit visa application what you need to do is firstly go speak to a lawyer uh, then what you can do, you can issue a pre-action protocol letter. Now, pre-action protocol letter, when you if you just write a pre-action protocol letter, it will not help. What you need to do in the pre-action protocol letter, you need to give grounds of refusal, uh, uh, and there are five grounds of the, uh, the of the of, of, of the of the ground where you can uh, irrationality, unreasonable, unlawful. So these are the grounds where you need to identify issue and how the home office. Uh, you know what what, what what the mistakes they have done why is unreason unreasonable you can also add some case law the uh, immigration rules that what why that why, what the what, what the home office should have considered sometimes what they do in the revisa letter you'll see they just copy first from uh you see if you apply from pakistan they will put you are a, you are a national of uh, gambia or uh, ghana so the nigeria so this is how they mix up all the information basically what they do the home office uh, case worker they don't actually read the document they don't actually read the couple letter so if you can draft a pre-action protocol letter properly you have a good chance to get a, a good outcome in case if again the same decision come you can go to the uh, judicial review to challenge it and uh, what will happen once you challenge it if the court if, if your case had married then the more likely gld the government legal department will do your cases and will offer you a visa uh, so and then you can go through a consent order and again after the consent order still you need to chase them up because the way the home office work basically you need to basically you need to be very sincere and serious about this you need to change up the home office you need to you need to tell them look you need to make it other otherwise you, the home secretary will be in breach of uh, court order so all the step you need to take appropriately with uh, uh, appropriate law and you need to follow the correct procedure of course you should consult a lawyer uh, uh, because some of the area although you can do it some of the area uh, where the, the lawyer need to be cover up and then if your judicial review or your pre-action protocol that will be more effective uh, so thank you very much if you need any assistance please feel free to contact me my name is Sohla Ahmed I'm a, a, a principal solicitor I'm the principal solicitor of SW solicitor we have office in London Milton Kings but we provide services uh, around the whole UK and outside the UK if you need any assistance. Uh, our contact details is appear at the bottom of the screen and thank you very much to watch this video for today.